Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie and I'm the Offbeat Collector. And I love stuff. So one of the things I collect or just absolutely love is Christmas stuff. I have more Christmas stuff than any person I've ever met. Uh, I like to do, you know, four dozen Christmas trees or so, somewhere around there, um, between one foot to seven and a half foot. And I just, I love Christmas. And it's Christmas in July to me. Uh, not everybody celebrates Christmas in July, but why not? An excuse to have more Christmas? I'm here for it. So today, I'm going to be showing you some Christmas ornaments that I ordered off of eBay. I went down a rabbit hole in the middle of the night, uh, got on Pinterest, and somehow it has led me to the point that I've got a box of new Christmas ornaments. Uh, these are all... Looney Tunes and Tiny Tunes mini ornaments. So I'm really excited to see what they look like. I'm gonna open them up, pull them out, and then I'll show you up close the details. Let's get in the box. about some interesting packaging huh um it looks like two of these have come with their original boxes which is really cool and the rest of them are wrapped in paper towels like tiny surprise packages uh and that's fine the listing said nothing about boxes i wasn't really worried about it i can't keep boxes even if they are super cool and super cute and super vintage because I've got too many ornaments. I have, I, I spent probably a month on a project of sorting all my Christmas ornaments properly after Christmas this year. So they are sorted by Star Wars, Penguins, Coca-Cola, um, Neons, uh, Classics, um, character ornaments. They are all organized completely. So I usually, I can't keep these boxes. So it's fine that they wrapped half of them in paper towels. That doesn't really bother me. Um, I am just going to pull them all out real quick. I'm excited about this one. This one is Calamity Coyote from Tiny Toons. Wrapped in a paper towel. I mean, paper towels are, I guess, economical packaging, right? I mean, if I wanted to, I could just save these in a pile and use them to clean up. Oh, this guy is so cute. I can't wait to show you the details up close. They're super nice. This one's a Looney Tunes one. It's got Elmer Fudd kissing Bugs Bunny unwrap it oh it's super cute these are so tiny i'm gonna have to get i'm just gonna move the camera now and i'll show you unwrapping them because they're so tiny you probably can't even see them from there so i'm gonna get the camera up close and show you the details on these ornaments that for some reason i went down bugs bunny's rabbit hole and came out the other side with a pile of christmas ornaments i'll just move him up Let's start with the Calamity Coyote. You can see it's from 1995, Warner Brothers, on his little ski there. He is just super detailed, as you can tell between my thumbnails here. It's definitely a teeny tiny little guy, but so cute. Like, I think I'm going to have to just do a tiny tree and just Looney Tunes and Tiny Tunes ornaments, definitely. That guy's great. And this one. Look at this. It's a Pugs Bunny popping out of a Christmas present, kissing Elmer Fudd on the mouth. Elmer Fudd does not look like he was ready for that kind of present. Super cute ornament. And I did get the boxes for both of those, which sadly I'll probably throw out. But it is cool to see those original vintage packaging. Let's just, it's almost like opening surprise toys. Let's see what other ones we have in these napkins. Oh, we have, this is named Ham. It's basically the young Porky Pig. Look at Ham and his sleepy time nightcap with a little candle. Super cute little guy. Gotta love that. It does appear that I'm getting dirt on my fingers. So is there dirt in these paper towels? That's not great. Hmm. Oh well, as long as they're not damaged, I'm not going to complain. Let's see what's inside of this one. 
Ooh, Roadrunner. Look at him. Which, gosh, I don't know what the young Roadrunner's name is. Tiny Toons, Roadrunner. What's his name? Ah, oh, he's on a little snowboard. Super cool, though. Nice details. Love it. We've got three more. Let's unroll this one. Oh, the little cat. Oh, what's his name? Is, is it Sylvester Jr.? Is it something that simple? Is it Sylvester Jr.? Oh my gosh, I really should have looked up all these names before I started the video. He's got a little can of sardines with a Christmas bow on it. I mean, the details on these tiny ornaments are just really awesome. Please don't cry, Miko. I love you. Yeah, the, the details on these are super great. We've got two more to unwrap. Oh, there he is, Buster Bunny. Check him out. Look at that smug look on his face. Shiny ice skates. Very cool. I love it can't have a, a Tiny Toons tree without Buster Bunny, right? Definitely not. We've got one last one to open. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a Tweety Bird. Ugh, Tweety Bird was always my favorite Looney Tunes character. We've got a tiny Tweety Bird and a tiny glittery candy cane. He's even got glitter on his hat. It's fantastic. I love Christmas. I love Christmas ornaments. I love Looney Tunes. I love Tiny Tunes. Let's face it, I love a whole lot of stuff. So, yeah, that's my little ornament haul that I just, I, I got on Pinterest and started looking at Animaniacs Christmas stuff, which led me to a Tiny Tunes Christmas special that I didn't know existed, which led me to getting onto eBay to see if I could find the Tiny Tunes Christmas special, which led me to Tiny Tunes Christmas ornaments, which led me to buying another box of ornaments for Christmas in July. I hope you enjoyed this tiny video, guys. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos of someone that buys way too much stuff and collects a lot of everything. Until next time, guys. Bye.